Hello, good day. So in this video, you will learn about normal distribution and areas under the standard normal curve. Here are our learning objectives for today's video. First is to define normal distribution. Second, determine the properties of the normal distribution. And lastly is to find the areas under the standard normal curve. Let's tackle first, what is the normal distribution? A normal distribution is a continuous probability distribution for a random variable x. And it's also the most important continuous probability in statistics. And it is also sometimes referred to as Gaussian distribution in honor of the mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss. So, to yung image ni Carl. Next, here, here are the properties of normal distribution. First, the normal curve is a bell shape. So, this is the image of a bell shape or the normal curve. And it is symmetric about the mean. So, the mean here in this normal curve is this one at exactly the middle of the, the normal curve. So, if this is the mean, we, we mean symmetric if... The image at the right side is also the same as the image on the left side. So thus, this make the 50% and this also 50%. Next property, the mean, median, and mode are equal. So if this is the mean, then the, then, then the location of the median and mode is also located here. So, they are all equal. Next property, the total area under the normal curve is equal to 1. If this is 50% and the other side is 50%, this make the whole area as 100% or equal to 1. Take note of that kasi magagamit natin yung, yung itong property na to for us to find area of a certain z-score on standard normal curve later on. Next, the curve approaches but never touches the x-axis. So, palap itong curve na to, the normal curve, papalapit siya dito sa x. Okay, dito sa my x-axis. Pero hindi niya or never niyang matatouch. Ang tawag natin doon sa property na yun is asym asymptotic. Okay, so these two lines will never meet at each other. So that is one of the properties of the normal distribution. Now, because of its properties, or because of the properties we have just discussed, the following are observed based on the empirical rule and Chebyshev's theorem. First, is that approximately 68% of the data values will fall within one standard deviation of the mean. If this is the population mean or the mean itself, then one standard deviation above the mean, so this is the standard deviation above the mean, and this is also one standard deviation below the, the mean. Now, the data falls here, one standard deviation below, okay, and the area, okay, the area here is 68% of the data values. Next, approximately 98, 95 rather percent of the data values will fall within two standard deviations. So we have two standard deviations above the population mean and we have also two standard deviations below the mean. Now yung area na cover ng portion na ito ng normal curve is that 95% of the data. Another is that approximately 99.78% of the data values will fall within three standard deviations of the mean. So if this is 
three standard deviation above the mean and we have also three standard deviations below the mean the area okay that covers or within these two standard deviation of these two portions will have 99.78 percent of the data okay let's proceed now let's go to the standard normal distribution if each data of a normally distributed random variable x transform into z score okay so if we're going to transform or change every value of x here into z score then probably we'll have this image so you notice our mean becomes zero and the standard deviation is equal to one okay and our x here becomes the z-score. If this happens, then we'll have normal, then we'll have standard normal distribution. It is the definition of the standard normal distribution. It, uh, it is a distribution with a mean of zero okay, and standard deviation of one. As you notice here, we have a standard deviation of one. Okay, also on the left below the mean. Now, the total area is still 1 or 100%. Hindi yun nagbago. It's still 100% yung area niya. Next, now, how to transform x value into the score? So, napag-aralan na natin to nung nakaraan. So, kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung tutorial video natin to ilalagay ko sa description yung link para mapanood. So, ito yung formula natin. If given yung population mean and the population standard deviation, ito yung gagamitin to convert x into the score. Ngayon, pagka given naman yung sample mean or sample standard deviation, we just have to use this symbol. Okay? Now, let's have now finding areas under standard normal curve. So, paano ba tayo kukuha ng area sa standard normal curve. So, here are the steps. First is to sketch the standard normal curve and shade the appropriate area under the curve. The second, find the area by following the directions of each case shown. So, meron tayong three cases. First, kapag hinahanap natin yung area to the left or sometimes below yung, yung ginagamit na word of z equals n. Yung n natin dito is yung value ng z-score. Find the find that corresponds to z in the standard normal table. So, doon sa module ninyo, meron kayong dalawang um, standard normal table doon. One is that the z-score is positive and the other one is that the z-score is negative. And the symbol you're going to use to find or to indicate that you are finding the area to the left of the Z is this one. Okay, so we have Z less than or equal to N. That's the case one. Case two, to find the area to the right naman or above of Z, use the standard normal, normal table to find that area that corresponds to Z. Pag nahanap na natin yung area to the, yung corresponds to z, then saka tayo magsusubtract ng uh, isusubtract natin yon into um, from 1. Now, let's proceed to finding areas under normal curve. Okay, so how to find areas under the standard normal curve? So, we have these steps. First, Sketch the standard normal curve and shade the appropriate area under the curve. And then after that, we have to find the area by following the directions for each case shown. So we have three cases here. First case, pag inahanap natin yung area to the left, okay, to the left or sometimes ginagamit is below Z, then we just have to find that area that corresponds to Z in the standard normal table. Ang standard normal table natin, doon sa, sa module ninyo, makikita ninyo, meron tayong dalawang table doon. 
we have one for positive z score and the other one is the negative z score. Ngayon, yung symbol na gagamitin natin to indicate that we are finding the area to the left of z is this one. We have p, meaning probability, then z less than or equal to n. Now, yung, yung ibang mga um, mathematicians, ginagamit nilang symbol is less than lang or walang equal. So, okay lang din yun. But, here in our course, we're going to use less than or equal. The second case is that if we are going to find the area to the right or above of z, gagawin lang natin, titignan nyo yung area that corresponds to z. Pag nahanap nyo na yung area that corresponds to z, saka tayo magsusubtract from 1. Okay? So, subtract natin yun from 1. And the symbol that we're going to use is P, Z greater than or equal to N. Take note, class. Okay? Pabaliwanag ko lang ng mabuti. Pag left or below, kung ano yung nahanap nyo dun sa standard normal table, yun na yun mismo. Ngayon, pagka to the right naman, okay, ahanapin nyo yung area doon sa standard normal table and then sa kanyo isubtract sa 1. Okay? That's the case 2. Case 3, to find the area between, okay, between 2 z scores, ang gagawin natin, hanapin natin yung area ng isang z score and then saka natin kunin yung area naman ng another z score. At anong gagawin natin doon? Okay? Subtract the smaller area from the larger area. Okay? So, sana ma maintindihan ninyo na kapag ka between two z-scores, hanapin yung dalawang area gamit yung dalawang z-score and then saka tayo mag-subtract. Okay? Mag-subtract. Subtract natin yung, yung smaller area from the larger area. So, ito yung symbol naman. Okay? Dalawang inequality symbol yung ginamit. Now, let's have an example of this. Find the area that corresponds to a z-score of 1.15. Ngayon, meron tayong table doon. So, ito yun. Screenshot ko na. Para makuha natin yung area corresponds to z-score of 1.5, gagawin lang natin is to look at this number. Since positive siya, then yung gagamitin nating table is the positive Z score. So, 1.5 muna yung titignan na, uh, 1.1 rather. 1.1 muna yung titignan. So, hanapin natin yung 1.1. So, andito yung 1.1. And then next is the 0 0.05. Okay, yung 5 naman yung hanapin natin. So, this one is 0 0.05. Ngayon, kunin natin yung intersection ng dalawa. So, if this is the 1.1, and this one is also the 0 0.05, then we'll have the area here. So, the area then that corresponds to a z-score of 1.15 rather is 0 0.8749. Now, to illustrate this, if we have the probability or the area of z below 1.15, then, since yung 1.15 natin is greater than 0, then malamang matatagpuan natin yung z above 0. So, we have here the 1.15. Ngayon, since um, below siya, ang hanapin natin na area is below. Okay? From the left of 1.5. So, ito yung area na hinahanap natin. Okay? Kasi below nga siya. Below. So, yung nahanap nating area is 0 0.8749 so meaning <coughs> so this one or this area is also 0 0.8749 the symbol we're going to use is this one okay kung mapapansin ninyo since below siya kung ano yung nahanap natin sa table yun na yun mismo okay let's have another example 
Find the area that corresponds to a z-score of negative 2.64. Ito naman negative. So, ang gagawin natin, tignan yung negative z-score doon sa standard normal curve natin. So, again, we're going to look at negative 2.6. So, negative 2.6 nandito. And then we have 0 0.04, 0 0.04. Then find the intersection of the two. Then we'll have 0 0.00. 41. Okay? So, paano natin masasabi na to the left, to the right, or between? Pag walang naka-indicate dito, it is understood that it is to the left of negative 2.64. Okay? Now, to illustrate this, since negative yung z-score natin, matatagpuan natin yung negative 2.64 here. Okay? So, since to the left, ang area na hinahanap natin is this part. Then, so this area would be 0.0041. Okay? Another example, find the area under the standard normal curve to the right of Z equal 1.06. Now, as you notice here, to the right na siya. Okay, so yung case natin dito is case number 2. So hanapin natin muna yung area ng 1.06. So we have 1.0, so 1.0, and then we have 6 here. So yun, the intersection would be this one. And the next step, since case 2 tayo, okay, is to shade the area to the right. So, you, since we have positive 1.06, and dito yung positive 1.06, to the right naman yung area. So, ito yung hinahanap natin, area. Since we have case number 2, or to the right of Z, yung gagawin natin is to subtract the area, okay, to subtract this area to 1. So, you have 1 minus 0 0.8554, then we'll have probably 0 0.1146. So, the probability then to the right of Z equals 0 0.1146. Again, nag-subtract tayo sa 1 kasi to the right of Z. Ngayon, let's have an example naman doon sa between the two Z scores. Find the area under the, norm, the standard normal curve between Z, uh, Z equals negative 2.5 and Z equals 1.45. Now, ang gagawin natin dyan is to look first the area to the left of Z equals negative 2.5. Okay, to the left. So, we're going to use this table, the negative. So, we have negative 2.5. So, negative 2.5 is already here. So, 0, 0 yung gagamitin natin doon. So, the area is 0 0.0062. So, the symbol, we have area Z less than or equal to or to the left of Z. We have negative 2.5 equals 0 0.0062. The next is to find for the next Z score, which is 1.45. Nagawin naman natin dyan, find, so we know already how to find, we have 1.4, then 5. So, dito yung area ng z-score na ito. Okay, so we have 0 0.9265. So, again, less, less than pa rin yan, or below. The next, to illustrate this, para mahanap na natin yung, bit, yung area between these two scores, okay, so, this one, the illustration. Since we have negative 2.5, of course, to the left of 0, so negative 2.5, 1.45, and dito naman, positive siya. The area that, we're go that we are looking for is this one. Okay? And how to get that area is, dun sa case number 3 natin, pag nahanapan natin tung dalawang area daw, we have to subtract from this, from the from the smallest area to the right, to the uh, larger. So we'll have the area, the larger area is 0.9265 less the smaller area, then we'll have 0 
zero three. So the area between these two these scores then would be zero point nine to zero three. So that is how are you going to find for the area between two z scores? You just have to subtract the two areas. Now let's have another example. Paano naman kapag kayong case natin ay hindi given yung z-score natin? So again, natapos na natin ito noon, yung pagkuha ng z-score, given yung population mean and the standard deviation. Now, yung score natin is below 180. Now, ang gagawin natin is to convert this score first, yung 180, into z-score. Since we have x equals 180, population min is 150, standard deviation is 20, you just have to substitute them in this formula. Then simplify, we have 180 less 150, 30 divided by 20, that's 1.5. Now, we are looking at the area below. Pag below, we are going to use less than or equal 1.5. Again, that's case 1. Kung ano yung nahanapan natin dun sa table, yun ay mismo yung area. So, looking at the table, we have 1.5. So, dito yung 1.5, then 0, 0. Then, probably, the area would be 0 0.9332. Another example, find the value of Z. If the area under the standard normal curve to the right naman, is 0 0.4523. Okay? Again, kapag ka-given yung area, okay, ang, ang area dito is 0.4523. So, ang hahanapin natin is yung z-score. Remember, na kapag ka meron tayong right of z, ibig sabihin, magsusubtract tayo sa 1. So, we have 1, minus the area given, then we'll have 0 0.5477. Ito ngayon yung titignan natin doon sa table natin. Okay, hanapin natin yung 0 0.5477. Ngayon, uh, mapapansin natin dito na marami, right? Marami tayong area. Ang kukunin lang natin is kung saan malapit yung area dito. Okay? So, hanapin natin. So, probably this one. We have 0.5478. Sir, bakit hindi naman sila equal? So, take note. Ang area natin pwedeng equal or kunin lang yung pinakamalapit sa kanya. Since this one is the closest area to this one, neto yung kukunin natin. Kunin natin ngayon yung z-score. Ang z-score niya is 0.1 and then we have 0.02. So, thus, yung z-score under the normal curve to the right of z, which has the area of 0.4523, is 0 0.12. Okay? So, I hope you understood how to get the z-score given the area. Nag minus 1 tayo di, uh, 1 minus the area kasi to the right of z. Next, now, in your module, you will have this in the exercises or the assessment. Find the value of z if the, if the area under the standard normal curve. Okay? So, meron na tayong example. So, you are now ready to find for this to the right. Now, our task is to give an example for letter B to the left. Ang to the left naman, for example... We have the area 0 0.80. Hanapin natin yung Z. So again, since to the left siya, kung ano yung nahanapan natin doon sa area, yun na yung, yun na yung mismong Z-score. Okay? Now, 0.80. Okay, kita natin yung 0.80. So here, titignan nyo to. We have 0.7995 and we have 0.80. Tignan ninyo mabuti. Dito kasi, sa area na to, 0.8023, so mabra siya ng 23. Dito naman, kulang siya ng 5 para maging 0.8. Ngayon, saan ang pinakamalapit? 
Siyempre, ang pinakamalapit dun sa point 80 is yung kulang ng 5. So, ito yung kukunin nating uh, area ng z-score na hinahanap natin. So, since to the left, kunin na lang natin yung, yung z-score. So, we have point 0.8 and we have point 0.04. So, that's yung, yung z-score natin is 0 0.84. Okay? So, bakit hindi na tayo nag-subtract sa 1? Kasi nga, to the left na yung hinahanap. Since you have already example, then you're, you're now ready to find for this item. Now, the other two items, which is C and D, will be uh, left for you para hanapin ninyo kung ano yung mga ways on how to solve that particular problems. Now, let's proceed to the next item on your module, which is, which is number 2. Given a normal distribution naman, with the population mean 30 and the standard deviation ng 6, we're going to find for a certain uh, area in the normal curve of a given score. First, let's have an example to the right of x equals 17. For example, if we are given a normal distribution with this given, okay, and we're going to find the area to the right of 100. So, ang first step natin, since wala tayong z-score, ko-convert natin tong x value na to into z using this formula. So, we'll have x is 100 minus the population means 150, the standard deviation is 20. 100 less 150, that's negative 50, divided by 20, then will give us negative 2.5. Then, the symbol that we're going to use to find the area to the right is this one. Now, we're now ready to take at the area of the z-score in the table. So, we'll have negative 2.5, we're going to use 0, 0 here. So, the area is 0 0.0062. Since to the right, yung hinahanap natin, we're going to subtract this area from 1. Then, the final answer would be 0 0.9938. Since you already have an example, then you're now ready to have, uh, to answer letter A. Now, let's have now area uh, the normal area between the two uh, x is core. Given a normal distribution with these two um, population mean and standard deviation, find the area between the scores 130 and 195. So again, convert first 130 into the score. So we'll have negative 1. Since we're going to use for the area, then we'll have negative 1, then the area is 0 0.1587. So, we're going to use the symbol below because we are looking at the between two scores. The next is to find for the area of 195. So, convert this into z-score. 195 plus 150, that's 45 divided by 20, we have 2.25. So again, that's below. So we're going to use this symbol, uh, this table. So find 2.2, then we have 5. So the area is 0 0.9878. Okay? And then, since we have two scores, at yung area na hinahanap natin is between these two scores, we're going to subtract the 2. Okay? Since 0.98 is bigger than this area, we're going to subtract the 2. Then probably, the area is 0 0.8291. In the next item, letter D, we're going to find for the value of x that has 80% naman of the normal curve area to the left. So, ang hanapin natin is yung value ng x. Okay? So, magagawa natin yan, for example, find the value of x that has 45% of the normal curve area to the left 
with the population mean 150 and the standard deviation of 20. So let's analyze the given problem. Kapag ka 45% yan, okay, given the normal curve, since to the left siya, dito lang yan. Okay? So since hindi siya sumobra dun sa 50%, then probably will have a negative z-score. And the area of this would be 0 0.45. Ngayon, para mahanapan natin yung z-score, we're going to use the area 0 0.45 and look it into our table. Since negative yung z-score natin, look at the negative z-score areas of the standard normal curve. So, ang pinakamalapit na area is probably this one. Okay? Kasi kulang siya ng 0 .7, uh, 0 0.0017 para maging 0.45. Dito naman, sumobra siya ng 0.0017. 22. So, ang pinakamalapit sa kanya is, of course, this area. Now, the z-score of this area is negative 0 0.1 plus 0 0.03. Then, we'll have the z-score 0 0.13. Okay? So, pagplasin nyo lang yan. And then, since we already have z-score at ang hinahanap natin is value of x, we're going to use the formula again for the z-score and then substitute each value in the given formula. Ang z-score natin is negative 0.13, so change this into this uh, value. And then yung x natin, since this one is unknown, remain x. Population means 150 and the standard deviation is 20. The next step is to multiply 20 into negative 0 0.13. The answer is negative 2.6 and then copy the numerator. And then the next step is to transpose negative 50, 150 rather, to the other side. Then it becomes positive or plus. So negative 2.6 plus 150 equals x. That will give us 147.4. Therefore, our conclusion, the value of x that has 45% of the normal curve area to the left is 147.4. Now, you have already an example to find for item letter D. Let's proceed now to find two values of x that contain the middle 75% of the normal curve area. I'll give you an example of this one. Example, given a normal distribution with population mean 150 and standard deviation equals 20, find two, the, find two values of x that contain the middle 60% of the normal curve. So let's analyze first the problem. We have a standard normal curve and we are looking at the middle 60% of the normal curve area. So, pag meron tayong middle uh, 60%, probably we have a negative z-score and one is the positive z-score. Since middle 60% yan, this area will be 0.30 and this is area or this portion is also 0.30 to make it 60%. So, itong area na to is the middle 60%. Now, to complete this area, okay, to complete this area, ang kulang na lang para maging 0.5 itong portion na to is 0.20. Okay? And take note class, na this area, itong point 0.20 na to, is the area to the left of this z-score. Okay? So, we're, go we're now re going to find for the z-score that has an area to the left of this z, not point 0.20 doon sa table. So, ang gagawin natin, tignan natin yung z-score na merong point 0.20. So, take a look at this uh, table, hanapin natin yung point 0.20. Okay? 
So since wala tayong mahanapan na exact 20.20, hanapin na lang natin yung pinaka malapit. Ang pinaka malapit na area is this one. 0.2005 at ang z-score natin dyan is negative 0.84 so the z-score then would be negative 0 0.84 okay so ito yon yung z-score natin now since we already have z1 and then we're now ready to find for z2 paano natin kukunin yon? So, take note that if we have this area and we have also another area and this area, okay, if we're going to add all these three area, ito na yung area to the left ng Z2 natin. Okay? Pansin nyo na ba? Kapag ito yung kukunin natin lahat, then ito yung area to the left ng Z na ito. Okay? So, the sum or yung summation natin ng 0.20 plus 0.30 plus 0.30 will have 0.80. Ito naman ngayon ang titignan natin doon sa table. Ang 0.80 natin, ang pinakamalapit is this, 0.7995. So the z-score here is 0.84. Thus, if we have already two z-scores, uh, which is negative 0.84 and 0.84 positive, then we're going to have now this formula. First, that we're going to use is our z1. So convert this, yung z1 natin, we have negative 0.84, so ito yun. And then, use the population mean 150, standard deviation 20. Then, we'll have point, a negative 0.84 times 20 will give us negative 16.8. Then, copy the numerator. And then, we'll have transpose 150 to the other side. It will become positive or plus. And then, this will give us 133.2. Nahanapan na natin yung isang x. Para makuha naman natin yung isang x pa, gamitin natin yung z2, which is 0 0.84. Same process dito, use this formula, and then yung z2 natin is 0.84, then same dun sa population mean and standard deviation. Multiply 20 to this, it will give us 16.8, then copy. And then transpose 150 or negative 150 to the other side, it, it becomes an addition or positive. Then if we're going to add this, it will give us 166.8. So ito na yung pangalawang x natin. So thus, the two values of x that contain the middle 60% of the normal curve area are 133.2 and 167.8. Now, we are ready to find for item letter E. For your problem set, please click the, li click the link in the description below. Thank you and God bless everyone.